Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with Fishing Planet and we are back at Rocky Lake and we are taking part in the new Halloween missions, the Chronicles of the Haunted Fleet, the first of which is the Colorado Mystery, the Slad Rock Bolter. Now we did everything to get up to the point where we were able to put together the Firefly ground bait, which we found bits and pieces of it and we caught the trout that we needed to catch. Now it wants us to do these three things. We have to equip a pig's heart and a horsehair leader on a bottom rod. Now I've got four bottom rods of all good size. I don't think I need one quite that's for you know the ocean or anything, but this is supposed to be a really large fish that we're trying to catch. It's called the Slide Rock Bolter. Apparently it resembles a whale with a massive head living in the depths of the lake and rarely hunting. A magical mixture of brave soil and fireflies will help lure it out. Only by defeating the mountain demon can you bring peace to the souls of the American Indians. May the amulet protect you. Okay. So something about an amulet too. I think that was something we either are going to get or we need to have. It doesn't look like we have to have it. So all we have to do is get that hooked on and we have to throw the firefly ground bait by hand into the center of the lake near the canoe. I'm sure that has to be done at night. And then we try to catch the slide rock bolter monster. So you get three bait coins for that and a trophy. He does look kind of ugly. <laughs> Let's see. Slide rock bolter macrostoma saxaparoptus is a bizarre and fearsome creature recounted by the lumberjacks of North America during the 19th 20th century is believed to live in the mountains of Colorado. The creature has an immense head, small eyes, and a large mouth, weighing up to 350 pounds. Oh wow, maybe I do need <laughs> sea rod <laughs> now that I think about it. Its tail ends in a fluke similar to a dolphin equipped with enormous grab hooks. Hmm. The fearsome animal uses the grab hooks on its split tail to latch onto the crest of a mountain or ridge. Once it spots its prey, it lifts its tail to release its hold. It slides down, scooping its victims into its mouth. When not hunting, the bolter resides in the depths of mountain lakes. Hmm. Like I said, I might need one of those large bottom rods for that guy. Alright, well, let's see what we can do about catching him. We're going to go ahead and jump in here. And there might be some things we can go ahead and pick up. Spin the wheel and see if we win anything. Yep, Satunger's Mead. This is a Halloween item. Yeah, I think we're going to have to come here at night to make this work. So, wait a minute. Let's get the time here. I don't think it matters what time, it just needs to be nighttime. Yeah, as you can tell, there's a glow over there, so those things are glowing. So we'll see what we can do about putting the ground bait together. First, it's... let's get us a good size heavy rod here. This one goes up to 194 pounds. I've got a 10 aw hook, considering the size of this thing. That's probably what we're going to have to go with, but we're going to have to use this horse here, which is probably under here. Yep, horse here, leader. Okay, well, it's only a 77.1 pound test, so 
Again, I guess we don't really have to have the big one. Let's see. Let's go with this one, because this goes to 81. That would be ideal. So we'll replace that. I'm going to keep the 10-odd hook on there. I have a feeling he's going to be big enough that I can catch him with it. Might put two rods out if I can. How many horsehair leaders do I have? Let's see. Well, this one's not going to quite hold up. Horsehair leader's too strong. We might have to go with this as a lighter rod. Probably, like I said, it might be a good idea to use two. Just to make sure. Keep the 10 odd hook. Keep the sinker. Actually, I might trade this sinker out. Let's see if we can go with a little bit. Yeah, let's go with cannonballs. Same with this one. Seven ounce cannonball. Just to make sure. And then we'll go ahead and put Pig's heart on there. And on this one. We're just gonna put two out for now. Alright, well it looks like we made that happy. Now we need to get the ground bait together. So throw the Firefly ground bait by hand into the center of the lake near the canoe. Okay, let's see if we can't do that. We need to go to ground bait. There's the Firefly ground bait. Oh, okay, that's easy enough. Ah, I see. We just go ahead and mix it. You don't mix it the old-fashioned way. I don't make ground baits that much, so I'm not as familiar with do that process. But we've got it. We've got about, looks like, 24 of them, maybe? I'm going to go ahead and put the... Ooh, it glows in the dark, too. Go ahead and... Throw one of those out there. I hope that's close. Oh, it worked. All right. Let's put that down. We'll try this one to start off with and see how that does. And I'll throw the other one out. We'll put that near there. We just wait and see what happens. Oh, wow. That was cool. Did you see that? see if we can't get his attention. Okay, we gotta make sure that he's got it. Oh, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. He is seriously strong. This is a sea rod, guys. Yeah, it's that horse here. He was starting to do some damage. Yeah, 
I had that up way too high because it was still set up high because of it being out of the ocean. Can't do it that high. Yeah, we're just gonna have to fight him. I wonder if we can get more than one. He can't take the line out too far because this is a limited size lake. Goodness. We're just going to be fighting in a while. Didn't take too long for him to go for it. Yeah, he'll get tired eventually. This is going to be like trying to pull in a marlin or a tuna, I have a feeling. He hasn't budged yet, so... Yeah, he keeps going around the rocks. He's trying to snap the line off. Man, what a fighter. Okay, we're getting him a little bit closer. That's the closest we've had him yet. Come on, big guy. Several moments later. Alright guys, we're finally making some headway on this guy. This has been a heck of a fight. He is... You really have to play him. You can't just reel him in. You have to keep the rod moving. You have to reel him in constantly. It seems to be the only way to get him in. And even then, it's still... Tough as all. Get out. There we go. I think we got him. Holy crap, that's a big fish. And it is seriously ugly. <laughs> Holy, that is an ugly fish. Impossible to place this fish in the current fish keeper stringer due to the maximum single fish weight. Oh, what are we supposed to do? I guess we can't keep it. Does that count if we can't keep it? Ah, oh, shoot. That's not good. I thought we had a stringer on here. I'm going to end up having to catch a sucker again. you got to be kidding me. 324.302 pounds. We still got his XP. Nope, we accomplished the mission. Colorado Mr. Slidebrook Bolger. We don't have to keep him. So we got everything. We just didn't get cash, I guess. But we got the rewards. Alright, well we go on to the next one. Roman Mystery. Phantom Merchant Ship. Legend from the diary tells that a Roman merchant ship's captain once offended a siren, and she cursed the local waters in revenge. As a result, double-head eels attacked the captain's ship, causing it to sink, taking all the cargo and crew with it. It is said that the eels still guard the amphoras from the sunken ship, 
and the ghost of the ship sometimes appears on autumn nights. We need to find a Labradorite Labrador spoon, which weakens the power of the double head eels. Labradorite flat spoon, one ounce, six aught. Hmm. Okay. I think I have one of those, but I'm not 100% certain. 6666 six, 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 cash. Alright, well it looks like we need to go to Tiber River. Read the second page of the diary in the special section of the inventory. Alright, we'll go ahead and put that away and we'll grab our gear here. Like I said, we caught the fish, we couldn't keep it. That's alright. Mission was what was important. I think there is something we can use to keep the fish, but I'll have to check my inventory on that. Yeah, I don't think there's anything more we can collect here, but I will check over here at the grave site, see if anything can be picked up over here. Nope, I guess that was all we were supposed to get. Alright, well, we're going to head on out of here. Ah, all ground bait mixes will be lost. Uh, let's take a look at our... See where he placed on there. He was at 325 pounds, I think it was. Well, he's not in the fish records. Maybe we just get the trophy. I thought he'd actually be on here. Unless we get to keep him only. Let me see here. Let me check on my inventory to see if I can... Yeah, I don't have a fish keeper. I got the Volans fishing yacht storage, but the maximum... F no, it says... A okay, that's because that's got the boat on it. We're going to have to come up with some other kind of fish storage thing here, and I think that's going to have to be a stringer. That's going to be home. Yep, the spine stringer. This can hold up to a fish up to 489 pounds. I don't think I have anything else that can hold anything bigger. Because the uh, Iron Maiden fish stringer only holds 99 pounds. Yeah, we have to load this up then. As far as boats go, let's see Tiber River. Well, we could use the canoe that we've got, which is the monstrosity. And I, th I think we might also grab another decent sized boat. Either the Gary Scott Draco boat or the St. Patrick song. I think I'm going to go with the Draco boat. This actually has bottom rod holders on it, so 